Welcome back, everybody, to the Kalispell Warhawk Dynasty on NCAA Football 14. For the first time in years, and honestly, I do not know how many, the Kalispell Warhawks enter unranked as they host number four Nebraska. This coming one week after, the debacle in Boise, falling to the 0-7 Broncos and losing their top 25 standing altogether. The Warhawks are now 4-3, and, and they're hoping their home field advantage that has fueled them to 29 consecutive home victories can get this season back on track and get them back inside the top 25. The Warhawks have played a lot of close games this year, and that win against Army now is looking pretty important as they enter 4-3. and three. Now, Nebraska is a really tough matchup for us, but they do have a quarterback who is inexperienced, Jeff Gary. He's only played a handful of games. He has 15 career touchdowns and does not have a great arm. This defense needs to play a lot better after last week, and they will defend this home field as the snow falls in Kalispell, Montana. And welcome, everybody, to Week 10 as we get underway. The Warhawks will start with the football, wearing the green uniforms and the blue pants. And it's not a great run back for DeHonte Jeffries. Only gets up to about the 15. Kalispell starts, and Luke Irvin did not have a great week, throwing three interceptions against Boise State. The first play is a two-yard run for Jim Jackson. Two tight ends on the field for Kalispell, and again the carry goes to Jackson. Across the 20, and net after a gain of seven, it's third and short. Kalispell in the eye, they need one yard. Here is the fullback, a powerful run for Trey Dunn, and he picks up seven yards, easily getting the first down. How about three straight runs to begin this game? Now play action on first down. Irvin dumps off to Jackson, who picks up around nine. Jackson comes in 642 yards on the season, having a pretty productive year. And now entering the game, Sean Merville gets the carry and picks up eight. So we have five runs and a play-action pass. Easy to see Kalispell's approach here to begin things. Pressure sent on first down. Irvin barely gets the deep ball off. And Edwards goes up to get it! It's a 42-yarder! First down, Warhawks! A shot for Edwards. Why not take it? Phenomenal catch. This offense could use more big plays in the passing game. Now can they capitalize here in the red zone? On first down, Merville hit at the line, no gain. Two tight ends, including the true freshman Craig Booth. Pressure through on second down, and in trouble, Irvin throws this away, and they'll play for one more down. Spreading out the defense now, Maddox slot right alongside Chambers. On third and ten, more pressure. Outside Jackson, nowhere for him to go. Stopped immediately, and it's fourth down. Not a bad opening drive for Kalispell. They do get three. And now they'll face this Corn Husker offense led by tailback Jason Slaughter, who has 1,140 yards entering this game. He gets it on their first play. Breaking tackle, still not down until the fourth defender gets there. That's an impressive gain of three. Slaughter also has 11 touchdown rushes on the season. First throw of the day for Jeff Gary is complete. Out to Jason Mitchell for a gain of five. Third down, Kelly the motion man. As Gary hands it to Slaughter who delivers the stiff arm, fights through more contact and gets six yards. He is not easy to bring down. Gary back to the air, blitzed and throws incomplete. That's what Kalispell needs to do. Cause some havoc. Let's force some mistakes here. Third down now. Can they get off the field? Screen. Slaughter. Wrapped up in the open field. Well played. Marcus Jordan. Fourth down. A score and a stop is how we get underway. And here is Jim Jackson. Big hole left side. Across the 40. Jackson. Big gain of 23 yards. One of his better on the season. Kalispell really wants to get the run game going today. That much is clear. Jackson, right side, no room this time. He loses one. The flow of the offense thrown off a bit. Now they spread the defense out. 
Off the fake, pressure's on, Irvin just heaves it, and Chambers makes the catch! 22-yarder! That was kind of a desperate throw, similar to the ones he was making a week ago. This one connects, back to Jackson now, and he's stopped after a short pickup. Everybody in tight, Sean Merville enters on third and eight. Here's the pressure, down goes Luke Irvin, it's a loss of six. Kalispell had a little something going, but back to Nebraska here in the first quarter, and Gary connects, that's David Ramsey, up to the 29-yard line, a gain of 11. Quarterback's playing a bit soft here on first down. Here's Gary, off his back foot, is intercepted! Anthony Payne on the takeaway! Warhawks take over! These are the mistakes you gotta force and capitalize on. Great job. The defense is playing a lot better already. It's Kalispell football, up 3-0. Now can they do something with this chance? Irvin, underneath, Lindsey's right there, and that is a little shy of the first down marker. It looks like here on fourth and inches, Kalispell's going for it. Deep back is Jackson. He gets it and picks up the first down. Warhawks extend their drive. Seven for 41 in the first quarter for Jackson. Play fake now, and the quick pressure will get to Irvin. They wanted to set up the screen, and that never got going. Last play of the opening quarter. On second down, a quick hitter to Drake Maddox, who breaks the tackle. Picks up eight. We'll settle for three last time. Now have to get inside the 15. On third down, heaving again for Chambers. He's got it. Down to the one. 23 more. Chambers makes another tough grab, reminding me of the touchdown he had a couple weeks ago. What a play by the freshman. At the one, Jackson, touchdown, Kalispell extends their lead. You gotta love this start to the game, getting these scores and stops. It is 10-0, Warhawks. The crowd's back into it. This is a fun atmosphere for Kalispell football. 10-0, and everybody bit on the fake. Gary with running room, a lot of it. All the way up to around midfield. That is not how you defend the read option. Gary throwing and knocked down by Matt Armstrong. Third down now for the Huskers. Three is seven, can Gary make a play? Nebraska needs four, and they get it. Garcia inside the 30 with a good catch and run, 24 yards. Nebraska trying to score their first points. New set of downs, quick throw, broken up for right. All over that was Nick Robinson. Kalispell in press coverage now. Gary with time, has a man open, and finds him for the touchdown, Jeff Wright. No safety help here for Robinson, who is beat off the line. Doesn't get much easier than that one right there. 10 to seven. Kalispell still leads as they take over. Back to the running game, and here is Merville. Up across the 30, a gain of seven. Here comes some motion with Drake Maddox. A little play action here. Irvin outside the pocket. Fires for Lindsey. First down. Gain of 12. I like the approach of the offense so far. They really relied more on the run game and play action as they do here. And wide open. Here goes Maddox inside the 30. Breaking a tackle and lost the football. Nebraska takes over. Are you sure he wasn't out of bounds? Oh man, a huge catch and run. And Maddox just loses it. And the ball was inches from the sideline. What a huge break for Nebraska as they take over. Gary panicking and finding right for a gain of six. I can't believe that fumble. Third and inches, Slaughter, Matt, but fights ahead, breaks a tackle, and here he goes! Across midfield, refusing to go down! Slaughter to the 24-yard line! He's one of the toughest running backs to bring down in college football. We're well aware of that already. Kalispell's got to get this under control, or this is going to be a major issue. 
Nebraska now in field goal range. Gary flips it out to Butler with some room. He picks up another first down. Gain of 12. Gotta love Nebraska here after falling down 10 0. A really good stretch of offensive play as Ross Butler picks up nine more. Nebraska in the eye, Slaughter back in. He gets the call and runs over a defender and is into the end zone. Touchdown number 12 for Jason Slaughter. And Nebraska has erased a 10-0 deficit. All right, Kalispell. You had your 10-0 lead. What do you do now? Good run here by Jackson. It's a gain of six. He's already carried 10 times. Spreading out the defense again, we see Maddox in the slot on third and six. Here goes Irvin, taking off and getting blocks outside as he picks up the first down. Gain of eight. Warhawks continue here at their 35 yard line. The back is Merville. It's his turn, left side. Good run, about seven yards. That's 14 runs now between Merville and Jackson. Jackson back in on third down as Irvin down the middle hits Maddox. There's another big catch as Maddox tries to make up for the fumble. And Irvin's over 200 yards. They're running the football well. Obviously getting a lot of passing yards as well. Now can they take this lead back? Not much here for Jackson. Spread out again. Maddox slot right. Irvin, time running out as he's flushed and is forced to throw it away. It looks like Kalispell is going to spend a timeout and think about this third down. Very critical play. How do you get 11 yards down here? They motion out Merville, empty backfield. Irvin shakes off the first defender, extending outside the pocket, trying to direct traffic. Finally throws it for Merville, shy of the sticks. Only a gain of eight. A bit closer now at 14-13. Nebraska takes over to begin a two-minute drill. Pressure on Gary. Caught by Green and perfectly defended. That's Marcus Smith. Third down. Warhawks trying to get the stop. Here's Gary looking around for running room as he's taken down at the line of scrimmage by Marcus Jordan. Big stop there for the defense. They still have one timeout, and we'll have over a minute. Here is a returnable kick for Jeffries. Makes his move toward the far sideline. Jeffries across the 50 and hits the bench after a gain of 17. 62 seconds here for Kalispell, trying to get in field goal range at the least. Irvin on the mark, but dropped by Derek Jackson. We've seen this formation here a lot with Maddox in the slot. Second down, now underneath. Catch and run for Chambers, and that will stop the clock. A gain of 13. An easier one that time for Phoenix Chambers. 52 seconds left. Now a strike for Edwards, and he did not get to the marker. It is second down, and the clock runs. They're down to 29 seconds here. Irvin back to the air. Across the middle again, this time Lindsay. First and goal, clock stops. Can Kalispell make the most of this? Down to 19 seconds. Plenty of time. Irvin to the end zone! Touchdown, Sherrod Edwards! What a great possession for Kalispell. They retake the lead here just ahead of halftime. That was an interesting half of football, but I thought Kalispell played really well, especially on offense. You gotta love the playmaking here from Kalispell, and they're definitely shifting the offense's approach. Trying to run the football and work play action off of that, and then get big plays in the passing game when they do throw it. Now the defense had some issues defending Jason Slaughter, that has to get better, but the pass defense overall I think has held Nebraska in check. It's third and two, toss out Slaughter, Met fights ahead and gets it! Man, we just got to make plays when we can get there. Motion now from David Ramsey. Pressure sent. Gary throws complete. Ramsey for about five. Third and shorts are really tough against this Nebraska ground game. Slaughter up the middle. Hit by Long, and he doesn't get it. There we go. That's the kind of play we need to make.
Good stop for Kalispell to get the football up six here in the third quarter. And Luke Irvin gets back to the air. Underneath, and here's Chambers. He gets Rome. Cuts outside and picks up 14. This is a good showcase game for his skill set. Two tight ends on the field again. Now running forward powerfully, Jim Jackson. That's a four-yard pickup. Now they go with a bunch formation, working to the outside. Jackson stopped after four more. Third and short. Three receivers on the field for Kalispell. It's a quick throw, cut by Edwards for the first down. I mean, you can't give that kind of a cushion on third and two. Kalispell back inside of Nebraska territory. Pressure sent on second down, and Irvin throws for Chambers! Nice grab, 17 more! Five for 90 for Phoenix Chambers. At the Nebraska 40-yard line, running right. Here is Jackson, cuts back to the inside. Good carry, 10 yards and a first down. Now they go back to the I formation. Here's a toss to Merville, out to the edge. Makes the first man miss and only gets two. They're in the red zone, now it's all about capitalizing here. And here comes the pressure. Nebraska brings the house and brings down Irvin. Nowhere for him to go on that play. It's third and 17. A long way to go and Kalispell does go empty. And here comes even more pressure. Irvin hit again. And this falls incomplete. It's fourth down. Aggressive defense for Nebraska. Now here's Brandon Hammond. Left hash. The kick is good. 23-14. A two-score lead here. Can the defense handle protecting this one? Nine-point game, 249 to play in the third quarter. And here is Brown on the return. A couple defenders go down. He's got some space to work with. Across the 50 and cut from behind, finally, by Matt Armstrong. But great field position now for Nebraska as they operate on first down. Gary's got time, fires downfield for Garcia, who's wide open, and he's inside the 15 with a 33-yard catch. Just when Kalispell gets something going, here comes Nebraska, Slaughter breaks a tackle, and Walker wraps him up, it's only a gain of three. 99 yards for Jason Slaughter. He gets it on second down, up the middle to the end zone, touchdown! That time a dominant effort up front by his offensive line. And we're back to a one score game. This one is certainly far from over. Great game here in week 10. Warhawk football on first down, more pressure, they get to Irvin again. He's gotta be careful, this defense has been so aggressive and we can't afford to keep losing yards like this. It's third down, and Irvin throws incomplete behind his receiver, almost picked by Latimer. That was one of the only three and outs we have seen today. 23-21, Nebraska football, cut back here, Slaughter fighting ahead. Another good run of eight yards. A buck 17 for Jason Slaughter. Stacking the box, and they meet Slaughter in the backfield, and he still fights for a yard. He's that tough to bring down. Third down. Nebraska needs one. Slaughter the carry. He's right there and gets enough. Just barely. On third and short. Slaughter is so dependable. Start of the fourth quarter. Slaughter the carry and finally brought down on first contact. That's a rarity. Third down, empty set here for Nebraska. Four on the rush, Gary, sideline, first down, Josh Green. That looked really close. And Kalispell has thrown the challenge flag. Now, does his left foot stay down as he makes the catch? Perhaps for a split second. Nebraska wins the challenge, Kalispell down a timeout. Off the fake, underneath for Kelly, who will get nothing here. We have not forced many third and longs. Kalispell needs to make a play. Gary needs 10. He's under pressure and taken down. Trey Walker. What a time for his first sack of the game. His ninth of the season. And Nebraska will bring out the field goal team now. 
And this is around a 52-yard try to take the lead. Oh, we have some movement. And this is against Nebraska. Wow, five yards here means a ton. And now they bring out the punt team. Wow, that is a huge break for Kalispell. And they'll take over at their own 20 here in the fourth quarter. This is where Kalispell needs a nice long possession. It will start in the air. Irvin across the middle and Chambers has it. Tries to redirect, looking for the home run. He picks up six yards. 96 yards now for Phoenix Chambers. Second down, Kalispell running with Jackson, and that's not going to work. Nebraska was ready for it. A loss of four, and that brings up third down. Irvin needs eight. Airs it out down the sideline, and it's off the mark. That led Chambers out of bounds. It's fourth down again. Back-to-back -back three and outs. That really hurts. Up by two. Greer punts away. Brown hit by Jeffries and he lost it, but Latimer recovers. Oh my. That could have been huge. Nebraska football. And Gary heads to the air on first down, finding Mitchell for a gain of five. Nebraska at their own 44 yard line. Toss out here to Jason Slaughter. Sloan down and stopped for just one. Third down. Big play here for the Kalispell defense. Slaughter the deep back. Huskers need four. It's a quick throw. Garcia doesn't get it. Fourth down, Nebraska. But they're going to go for it. I think we all know who's getting the football here. I think everybody knows what's going to happen. Fourth and one. Slaughter. First down as he gets six. Even when you know what's coming, you can't stop it. Four and a half to go, Slaughter, inside, good hit. That's Armstrong, only two yards. Two receivers on the field, they both line up left. Now it's a run to Butler, working to the outside as he breaks a tackle and gets six. Another third down here for Nebraska. Kalispell again stacking the box. Slaughter, breaks a tackle and moves the sticks again. Converting yet another third and short. Offset backfield, under four to go. Butler on the stretch, gets outside and is shoved out after eight more. Clock running down to three and a half minutes. Slaughter back in, breaks first contact and is finally stopped for a loss. There's Braylon Kendrick and it's third down. What does Nebraska do here? It's a third and five. They're gonna throw for it. Gary under pressure, hits the throw to Ramsey. 21 huge yards for Nebraska. Inside three minutes, Slaughter on first down, all the way outside for the touchdown. Number three on the day. Nebraska back on top again. And they'll go for two. Already up by four. Two tight ends. Slaughter off the field and Gary is brought down immediately. And there's Bill Long. Four point game, so Kalispell still of course needs the touchdown. They have a lot of time. 2.47 to go, what a critical drive. They've gone three and out the last two possessions and start this one with a gain of two. The offense was far better in the first half. Now face the second and eight, setting up the screen for Jackson. Makes a move and heads to the outside. Jackson down the sideline with a head of steam. He's inside the 20 and finally brought down after a 63 yard catch and run. What a time for the big play from Jim Jackson. Kalispell now has plenty of time to work in the red zone. A minute 50 on the clock. Here goes Merville inside and there's nowhere, no gain. They're running the clock down two in the process, down to a minute nine at the snap. Second down, flushed outside, good coverage. Here goes Irvin, taking the contact to the five. It's a gain of six. Now we're down to 34 seconds. Four yards from the end zone. 
Luke Irvin to the air. Up top for Lindsay, and it's knocked away. Fourth down, Kalispell. A timeout is called, and they'll think about this play. They need a touchdown right here. Fourth down, game on the line. Pressure on Irvin, and Maddox can't make the catch! It's incomplete! And the streak is over! The Kalispell Warhawks are going to lose at home! It's their first time in 30 games! Nebraska wins! 27-23! Another heartbreaking finish! in the final minutes for Kalispell. And they are a four and four team. I don't even know what to say. They were up 10 nothing early, blew that lead. Led in the second half, blew that lead as well. We could not defend Jason Slaughter in this great Nebraska running game. And our offense ran out of gas after the first half. I wanted to run the football and call a lot of play action. And in the first half, that worked really well. But the running game just wasn't as successful in the second half. And the pressure became an issue as Nebraska sent countless rushes our way. We had some issues in the red zone. I thought they covered pretty well down there. And what I was trying to make happen just didn't work. I can't believe we lost at home. It's the first time in years. And now with a four loss season, this is the most losses Kalispell has endured in eight seasons. This is the step back for the Kalispell Warhawks who are four and four and are now set to take on number 22 Notre Dame next episode. Currently, Kirk Herbstreet still believes in the Warhawks, and he's projecting us to win. There is not much of a break in this schedule. We face a lot of tough teams, and we have not been as good. We have another good running back we're going to face, and we've got to figure out how to play some better run defense, because today was really tough. They did not throw the ball that well and did not have to. Their running game was so strong with Jason Slaughter. And as we look back now, if we did not pull off that huge win at the end against Army, we'd be sitting at 3-5 and five right now. We have so much to do the rest of this season to just try and make it to a decent bowl game. So I think with all these losses, it's time to share a little bit of what's been going on with recruiting because the series will continue into year 14. I do not know how much further. It could just be year 14. But nonetheless, I want to share some of our prospects that we've gotten commitments from. And I think there are some really good potential difference makers. Demarcus Williams, 6'3 athlete. I think he is a really good defensive back prospect. Great speed, has some cover skills. I think of him as a corner. Might need some development, but I think that he'll be best as a corner, maybe a safety earlier in his career. But the player I got a commitment from very early this year is one I've been very excited to share. Say hello to Matthew McNair. Number four running back in the class out of Ohio with 95 speed, 93 agility, 91 elusiveness. A big play threat for an offense that is trying to get more focused on the run game. I wish we could have him on the field right now, but that is something to look forward to in year 14. I know it's been a tough year. It's the first time we have faced this kind of adversity as a team in a long time. So now we'll see what we do going forward because this is a humbling season for Kalispell football. But thank you all for your support that has continued throughout this series. Please leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and leave your thoughts below. What do you think about this team right now and where they are going forward? Have a great day, and I'll be back again soon.